Greetings, I am Cross Knights, and this is Let's Play Matrix Path of Neo. On the last episode, I played this stage, my favorite stage, and I liked it so much that I wanted to record it twice, so I died on purpose with one second remaining on the clock. Uh, if only that were true. But I'm doing it again. If it if I didn't like the stage so much, I wouldn't be showing both attempts. Defeat an enemy. Yes, yes. But as I, I just got hit by too many hatchets. Because <laughs> the thrown hatchets do... They're a threat. You have to be careful of them. I know there's health down there somewhere. I'm just gonna find it. You get bonus points for each wave defeated. Think you can get the record? Hello. I love that I'm so powerful that I just run into tables and they explode. I also love that I block hatchets with my bare hands. Join your friend, he's lonely. Eh, whatever. Next. Someone's stuck down there. Ah, oh, I hate that crap. Waste of my time. Hey! <laughs> that was awesome. You don't get to get stuck and then wait for me to come down and then jump up. Adding a new enemy type. He's upgraded with a ranged attack. Where is he? Uh-oh. Over there. Dodge. Whoa. Uh, whoa! If you fall out there, you die instantly. There, go get me some milk while you're out there, eh? Whole milk. None of that skim crap. You made it to round four. Here. See if you can put this staff to good use. You couldn't have put it down here. Now, if you do enough damage, this uh, staircase will be destroyed and it gets a little bit hard to get up there. But that hasn't happened yet. And as I said before in the last episode, that went totally correctly, and I did everything on purpose. The staff is a great weapon. Excellent range, excellent circumference of attack. One more wave and you're gonna break more pieces right And it has the coolest killing blow attack of all, but I'm not gonna show it this early, because it's too cool to show this early. I'm gonna be saving that for the uh, Smith fight, I think. And it broke anyway. Get back up here. That's right. Uh. Wham! Thank you. That's a new record. Whoa! Don't hit me with that. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Yeah, if there's a threat at this level, it's, it's the uh, guys that throw the hatchets at you. Because those guys actually do damage. Can't change targets? Alright. I know there's a way, dude. I was just hitting the wrong button. You're stuck. Oh. <laughs> Not really worth it. I do wish throwing weapons was a little bit more satisfying in this. Like, the way they fall just... I don't know. It's not cool. It's more satisfying when you throw knives in Streets of Rage 1. Oh, whatever. They can't get everything perfect. But they got most things right. There you are. I've already reached the target score by a lot. God in here, Neo. That was close. <laughs> you saw that hatchet. <laughs> Brutal. Oh, hello. That could have been bad. Oh, don't do that. Whoa. I think I'll stay down here for a little bit. 
50 seconds left, I'm already doing much better health-wise. What is falling? Are you guys breaking the- oh god. Nuh-uh. No congregating over here with your freaking hatchets. I know you're kind. Standing there with your freaking fedoras and throwing hatchets at people. Ah. Ah, ah. Only eight seconds, come on. Gotta kill some of these jerks. Time's up. Sweet. <laughs> Broke ten thousand. That was amazing. But you saw how differently that fight went from the first fight. It's just the variety of things you can do and the environments and the weapons and the moves and... it's di It really is different every time. Still no upgrade point, huh? Alright, well I think next is my least favorite training mission. Yep. It's not bad, but... It's gun training, and you can't use any martial arts, except for the close-range kick that happens whenever you're firing right next to someone. The close-range kick is an extremely useful move, too. It kicks them up in the air, and if you're using bullet time, you're gonna be able to kill them before they hit the ground. And there's nothing they can do about it unless they're an agent. Now they want me to use cover in this stuff. It's generally not used. It's generally not worth it. Oh, okay. You cycle with the right analog stick. That's interesting. Changing things up this time. If you've never fired a gun before, you're about to have no choice. Oh, and so you don't go getting all fancy with your kung fu. I'm taking away your ability to fight hand to hand. <laughs> Beautiful. None of those head. <laughs> Remember to focus, Neo. Your shots become more accurate. Watch out, Neo. <laughs> you. Whoa. Or headed your way. Use now, cover and shoot over and around corners. The to problem The problem with that this is like that the boss, you can't target him until the very end. So we'll just keep on shooting you and crap and there's nothing you can do about it. Health and focus. Now, if you notice, there's a fire extinguisher. Don't fire... Don't shoot the fire extinguisher when you're standing next to it. It does so much damage. You can easily kill yourself. If you do so. You've got to move, Neo. These people need you. And it gives you stats on all the weapons that you encounter. Oops, those guys are civilians. It's so dumb that you can't target him. Like, that's why I don't really like this stage. I thought... Thought there was a secret around here somewhere, but maybe not. Roll out. Careful. I rarely use that move. There we go. Only move you can hit the boss with until the end. Heavy pistol. 
Yeah, it's so dumb. Like, there's nothing you can do against them. Although, I guess they're trying to force me to use cover. Try more aerial targeting. Use wall runs and jumps to catch big I was targeted enemy going to away. before I was so rudely interrupted. Not only does it make you hard to hit, but it looks cool. There we go. Desperately needed that elf. Yeah. Oh, I already have maximum focus. No, oh, down. What am I doing? These guys are playing hardball. You gotta mix up your pitches. Now they're telling me that I can shoot the fire extinguisher. Or I could accidentally run up a wall. Fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher. Quick. Single shot. The guy shooting at you, genius. There we go. That's the guy you want to go after. He's your ticket out of this simulation. But you're gonna have to get past his bodyguards. Submachine gun, my favorite weapon. You can dual wield them too. Where did he go? Did he go upstairs? That lamer. Yoink. Is this really right? Did I get... Oh, he's shooting. Must be going the right way. Right? Yeah. Bye. He just put a lot of bullets in me. Away. Hurry, Neo. What the? I think, uh, you see, when you're doing those flips like that, you actually do shoot behind you sometimes, and I think he just killed his own guy. That was awesome. As you can see, I am dual wielding the guns. They do damage very quickly with this. Lies. I think I didn't see you there. I'm just getting stuck on chairs here. Alright, now that I've killed all the bodyguards, the boss is now targetable. would like to see you now. I think he has something special planned. Uh-oh, called to the principal's office. <coughs> All right. You recognize this, don't you? It's time for a one-on-one -on -one fight with Morpheus. Feeling a bit 
Dizzy Morpheus. Sorry. Whoosh. Venetia Busta. I feel like this fight in the movie should have been a little bit cooler than it was. But it was still pretty memorable. Mainly because of, uh... That move. Hello. Ow. Huh. Gotcha. Wichita. There's a health thing over there if you need it. Oh, actually, no, that's a weapon. Do -do -do. Practice sword. Grab a weapon and defend yourself, Neo. Where'd he go? There he is. Good. But you're faster than that. Focus, Neo. Force awareness increased. Not force awareness. Now I have the off-the-wall strikes. Very cool moves. I don't know if they work with weapons. Guess I'll find out in a second. Uh-oh! Let's see here. Uh oh. <laughs> Come on. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. Oh, they do work. Don't tell me I've never tried it before. Wow. Okay, so the off the wall throw doesn't work. Well, the off the wall strike does. That's cool. Not that cool, but. <laughs> I just threw my sword at him. Because I didn't want it anymore. Come on, up the wall. Uh, uh. There we go. That was the off the wall strike. And we also have... the fly extremely high attack. Come on, on the wall. Throw attack! Yeah. Oh, I didn't think he'd home in on me like that. <laughs> the one doesn't need weapons. Whoa, he's got, trying to do it. Killing blow on me. Stay right there. Too bad I don't have disarm. I can take away his stab. Victory. Remember that in here, your abilities are limited only by your mind. Focus, Neo. Run it. Come, Neo. There is something I want to show you. Time for some extreme parkour. Nice job, Morpheus. <laughs> you run right into that wall. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 Seems like I, they should have some I music for that part. I designed this room with the Matrix in mind. The phone is your exit, but you must reach it first if you want to live. Catch me, if you can. Oh, I can catch you. You're not gonna get anywhere near me. 
Now if you're using force and you're up against the wall, you'll automatically run up it. If it's a little bit too high, you'll run up at it and then grab it. And of course there's a wall running. Huh. Almost didn't make that one. Here, this one's too hollow, so he jumps up. Well, that shouldn't have happened. No, I was supposed to jump, that's why. Hut. Now we got a little bit of Prince of Persia action here. Except it's a lot harder than it is in Prince of Persia, because you can accidentally go on the wrong angle. Good thing I'm really, really far ahead of Morpheus. Oh. Man, I almost messed it up again. Alright, that was close. As you can see, Neo, focusing on the path before you has its rewards. Badass. Alright, our training is complete. Next episode, we're going to hop into the Matrix for reals. I'm Cross Knight. See you next time.